um, this video will show um, um, a, um, a small um, detail of uh, how the device seizure works and then uh, how uh, we can access different types of file that's um, stored in uh, the iPhone. Um, actually this um, the device seizure software um, that you see is uh, available for a desktop version um, and then if you want to download it you can go to the website and then uh, put your uh, email address and then um, they'll send you a, a free version for 30 days um, so uh, you can actually access it um, if you want to uh, check out the website the name of the website is uh, deviceseizure.com um, um, actually I can show it to you how to get real quick actually um, this uh, will automatically take you to uh, the downloads um, um, website download.parbin.com um, this actually will directly will take you to uh, any type of extraction tool that you wanted made by this company the one that I'm using is actually the one right here device is your 6.80.5420 uh, um, so uh, you can actually easily download it even without uh, putting an email address um, going back to uh, the software um, uh, let's run it as administrator and this software is actually very fast compared to other software that I uh, evaluated uh, and this is the demo version of the software so actually this gives us um, 30 uh, executions uh, and uh, 30 days so uh, before you make any payment or activation you can use it for um, uh, actually uh, 30 times which is you can use it one time a day um, this device actually um, you can connect this device with uh, a, a, dong a dongle that the company provides uh, if you have that um, dongle you can um, connect it to um, uh, the computer uh, install the drivers and then plug your phone via there which uh, kind of makes everything much uh, easier to use and faster uh, just uh, for uh, purpose of this video I'm going to show a case um, that I already um, download since it will take over an hour to process it I'm just uh, already did the process before I start recording the video um, as you can see this is my phone and this is actually saved on the computer my phone is not connected to um, the computer um, actually um, I have a, a duplicate of the same file um, so what you got to do is you can uh, open um, actually the way they put it is they have different kind of folders in order to the to describe um, what's on your phone since it's pretty um, a vast amount of information is saved in there uh, they have something called parsed data uh, parsed recovered data so um, most of the time the recovered data is the one that's removed or deleted from um, your phone which is parasite data is the one that's just um, still staying on your phone um, let's say for example if you want to check out um, I have 682 uh, contacts if you want to check out you'll just click um, and after you click you will just have to wait a little bit and on the second screen or on the other side of the screen it will show you contacts and uh, when is uh, creation date and whatsoever um, and there is something called properties in the parser data, which is um, it saves your um, properties that you were uh, put in your phone. For example, you might change how you can use the service. Uh, you might have a different company that you sign up to. Every information is synced and put in your phone. Um, um, for instance, you can see uh, my time zone is American New York. I don't know what does that mean, probably trying to say something but have a negative 800 uh, um, even I have a unique chip ID um, that can kind of show exactly what what device you have 
um, um, but pretty much have a, it's a pretty much a good software um, that have uh, uh, that provides so much type of information including your Wi-Fi address uh, wireless board serial number um, I'm guessing if it is uh, this is the wireless board serial number maybe somewhere that's inside the iPhone um, but the documentation don't pretty much provide um, detailed information um, about um, what's in um, on the iPhone because they have um, I'll try to check on the help tab um, as you can see right here um, but uh, um, they don't have um, a lot of uh, information about uh, what's on the iPhone and how to you know um, pretty much uh, uh, check what's inside uh, information is uh, they have a detailed information but it's all about their software it's not about what's on the phone or how you can access it but this is a very um, huge um, um, software so I'm I try to, to make everything possible and then uh, work out um, work out uh, everything what's here but uh, as you can see, um, I try my best to see different kind of tabs. Uh, the most interesting parts that I want to see on this kind of uh, software is the recovered con the recovered documents um, at all because um, I think forensics kind of teach you like why people remove or delete um, uh, some type of data. As it's always to hide uh, something that they, no one that they don't want to see. But in my case, most of my recovered documents are my uh, contacts probably people that I really don't want to uh, contact anymore. Um, what's amazing is even to have a, um, the date of, um, I'm not sure if it is uh, the creation, they have the creation date and uh, uh, of course they have uh, the modification date which pretty much describes um, uh, when and uh, uh, when and uh, why I deleted um, um, it doesn't have why actually, but I have when um, was deleted and removed from the phone. Um, and then we'll pass go to um, um, different um, uh, stuff that's uh, embedded in the phone. Um, uh, let's check what's uh, keychains. Uh, keychains is actually. Um, uh, you can actually activate it as an iPhone using uh, the keychain. Uh, uh, you just have to use a, a code that's given to you, but we can actually see the code um, uh, from here. Um, actually, since there is a, almost 14 gigabytes of data on this um, software, it's kind of glitch and stop sometimes. So you just have to uh, not to press anything uh, so you don't cause no problems. Also have a not a hex editor, but they have uh, hex codes, um, hashes, and so you can um, check that everything is working uh, properly. Um, since this is a very short um, video, and I feel like I'm going more than than that I expected, um, there are some things that I want to mention. There's something called advanced sorter, so kind of sorts the files, as you can see. But there is almost um, 10,000 files. But it kind of sorts the fire, and you can stop at any time. Uh, you can actually select a specific document and sort it, which kind of helps you what's in there, which, for example, says compressed file, databases, documents, email, executables. Every file, including XML, chats, and text, are um, saved or, uh, um, or sorted by um, uh, this software. Um, another thing, you can uh, actually import a specific um, document that you selected to desktop or to your documents so um, you can pretty much see uh, or evaluate uh, uh, the file. You can actually case convert, you can actually change, uh, uh, this will take a long time, but you can actually uh, change the file um, if it's not uh, compatible with the device um, that you're using or compatible with the um, description of part of the device user yeah, they kind of require some type of file I'll show to you sorting in the progress but um, um, most of the time they use uh, 
PDA, CSC, and PDS um, type of files. So in order to omit that, they have a software that kind of, that kind of change or clone um, uh, stuff. Let's check uh, uh, what's on the text messages. Actually, says dot com. Okay, since it's taking uh, too long, the last thing that I want to mention is uh, um, everything that you see is pretty um, user-friendly software. So you don't really need uh, a very um, you know broad knowledge about how the software works. It's very friendly, uh, and they have a good documentation on uh, how to um, do stuff uh, whatsoever on the device. Um, so if you have any type of question, what you have to do is go help and how to, and then you just have to wait a little bit. And then actually it's open right here. Um, and here you go, this the instruction about the device, uh, driver installations for several type of phones. Um, and uh, that's pretty much. The last thing that I want to mention is Everything that you have in here, you can generate a report, and then there is different type of files, which I always prefer as PDF, and you press finish, or you can, um, it will actually generate um, um, a report. This is the report, actually, uh, case information, device properties. Uh, as you can see, this is actually my device. Uh, let's put it this way. Um, this is actually my device, um, but I just selected a um, small amount of file just so to you and to create the report. Uh, PDF is my favorite one since it's like more user friendly and you can see everything clearly. Uh, and the website actually um, creates um, uh, a nice PDF uh, report for you. Um, so that's pretty much um, what's. Um, uh, what I want to show um, actually uh, just to summarize on this video this video covers the topic of uh, how to uh, use private device seizure and some um, nice features that the device have and uh, as I showed to you uh, there are a lot of things that you can do with this uh, with this um, software uh, and then if you want to check it out, you can check it out, go to the website that I mentioned in the beginning of the video, and then um, you can go from there. Uh, they have it for free. Thank you.